God is watching you and the decisions that you make. I know a lot of Christians who have taken the vaccine. And they are very pleased with themselves and believe that they are smart. And they believe the best of themselves at this time. Nobody can convince them otherwise. And they believe that the ones who don't take the vaccine are fools. But God uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the wise. You know it's your boy O'Neill, representing for Prayer Works TV. I may I say no, the devil no like when you pray. Cause when you mention the name of Jesus, him get freed and start tremble. So devil, never you touch the Lord's anointed. You hear that? Prayer Works. Fireworks, fireworks So me send them up like fireworks Watch me enemies are scatter When my daddy a work For prayer me now for wait till me the church Me a tell you straight fireworks Fireworks, fireworks So me send them up like fireworks Watch me enemies are scatter When my daddy a work For prayer me now for wait till me the church You know it's fireworks TV And it's your boy O'Neill in our representing Today was a, a day that I was supposed to go on an interview You know most of the interviews that people are going on now are, are basically are basically online Zoom and Google so I was scheduled for an interview today and the person well I found out later that the person fell ill so I was there waiting at one and the person didn't show however I rescheduled and then off another time but there's something I want, I want to talk about. The issue with the vaccine, the issue with getting a vaccine before you can get a job is a real, I don't even want to say problem, but I'm finding a lot of challenge with that. I don't know how many persons are affected, but I do know that it is a real issue in this country real issue in this country I was offered a job the person fell in love with what I had to offer and the person said by the way I'm gonna ask you an uncomfortable question Have you been vaccinated? Have you been vaccinated? Of course, they also asked, when I told them no, they said to me, do you, or would you, are you willing to, are you willing to get vaccinated? I said, if I said no to you, would this have an impact on me getting this job? Regardless of the fact that you know that I'm the right person for this job, perfect for this work? The person said yes. That is the requirement that is non-negotiable to get the job. And believe you me, it's one of the top companies in the island. And I said to the person, no, no, I am not willing to get vaccinated. Friends, if you are in a job at, at the moment, and they might not be pressuring you to leave, or they may not be pressuring you to get the vaccine, no. Come next year, you may be faced with that choice. What will you do? What are we going to do? Mind you, I don't believe that the vaccine is the mark of the beast. And I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I don't believe it is the mark of the beast, really. But I do believe it is a forerunner or a precursor. To the system that will put in place that 
so I don't want to be a part of it even at this stage I am beyond disappointed in the country because they are coming in with I'm seeing that the system has a vaccine mandate that looks as if it's going to be implemented when you look at the different companies and the requirements that they need they're not looking at the best of, for the best of the best they're picking from the group that is vaccinated they're not picking from the group of the best of the best they are picking from the group that is vaccinated I don't understand why there is a need for us to get the COVID vaccine when it doesn't prevent a person from getting that persons have been getting the virus even while um, getting the vaccine or have had the vaccine done persons they are saying that it, 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 it is as a less effect on you when you take the vaccine but my understanding of a vaccine coming up from when I was smaller is that when you take the vac a vaccine for a particular disease or whatever it may be you are not going to contract that my understanding cannot wrap my head around what this means and it seems as if it is just putting together a system this vaccine is this vaccine um, I believe that COVID was meant for the system to come so that this world can all combine or converge for the new world order to take place now I left my employment and I know that going into the office that they have had required me to I would have had to get the vaccine and by law it may be coming in early next year now we have to make choices for our life and the choices that we make now will affect our eternity are we willing to sacrifice all our eternity for the life that we live now I'm a young person I'm just 36 years old I'm going to be 36 years old right and uh, basically I have a long life to live I'm nowhere near retirement and I know the Lord will provide for me Many obstacles come day after day and you know what, I keep out of my feelings and I just focus on God. In this time that is happening now with all of these things, especially the pandemic, there's so much things under the ground, there are things that we are not aware of that are happening behind the scenes. And you have to stand up. This is a time when you have to have faith. You may not can't see what is happening with your eyes. But you have to use your spiritual sense. To understand that you cannot tread the road. Everybody is treading. This road that we're, we're, we're moving on. Where everybody should take the vaccine and all of this. I believe that this road is not where we should be treading on. It doesn't lead to eternal life. I'm, I'm saddened that the case where a lot of persons may be looking jobs now. And they've come under this hurdle. As well as some are have the advantage. Because when you're vaccinated, you have the advantage. You basically have a lot of jobs to choose from. 
because persons have been making the choice to leave their jobs because they are being required to get the vaccine. So if you are a person who is vaccinated and didn't have a job, I don't think you're going to have a, a, a hard time getting a job now. This is the perfect time to get a job. Mm -hmm. But what I think is going to happen is, what I think is going to happen is that tables are going to turn. I believe the tables are going to turn. One way or the other is going to turn. It's like it's going to turn that they've they fire too many people, get rid of too many people, and they're forced to take on people that are not vaccinated, that are not vaccinated. And the other turn, it could turn that the persons who have been vaccinated that they've taken on, or the persons who have gotten the vaccine, are going to become ill. And they don't have a choice but to take the ones that didn't take the vaccine. So, I believe that the tables might just well turn. The devil is not going to have his way. We the people of God, when we make a decision and God is backing us, we can be sure that we have support in this time. We're not left on our own. Many nights I go to my bed and I meditate on God's word because that's all we have in this time and we cannot be ignorant of what the word is saying. When I go through the scriptures and realize what it is saying, I some well it can make you shocked of the things that you didn't know that you probably should have, not probably, you should have known. But in this time, not straying away from the point, the job system now, the way of making money now, it's very treacherous, very uncertain even for the vaccinated. Because these persons who are vaccinated believe that they have the upper hand and advantage, which it looks so. But what are the adverse effects that, are, that may take place? The person who, the person who um, was supposed to have interviewed me today could have very well have taken the vaccine and adverse effects and made her sick. I don't know but all in all we are all in this boat together and we have to make choices about our future uncomfortable as it is and God is watching the decisions that we make that's the thing, you may get up and do something off of your own mind. But God is watching you and the decisions that you make. I know a lot of Christians who have taken the vaccine. And they are very pleased with themselves and believe that they are smart. And they believe the best of themselves at this time. Nobody can convince them otherwise. And they believe that the ones who don't take the vaccine are fools. But God uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. As a Christian, I, I've seen where Christians have condemned others who haven't taken the vaccine. And have separated themselves some way, shape or form from those who choose not to. But my take on the whole thing is that this is the start. This is the start of what we're going to see regarding the new world order. 
my job search is on the ongoing and I will be posting on my progress and the daily happenings of what I face and I want you to stay with me on the journey in Jesus name please remember when you watch this channel no joke please subscribe because at this time in life we need your support more than ever and to put out the content to reach persons who are facing dire circumstances in life so support us by subscribing sharing the video commenting liking the video so it's recommended more because i see you watching the videos but you're not liking them and you're not subscribing and remember when you watch this video that we have other videos on the channel so support us by watching those commenting we have all ranges of videos so remember to support all of our channel and subscribing because we need you as you need us so guys have faith be strong don't give up and remember God is always always watching so be careful of the decisions that you make in life all right so like share and a big one subscribe